Now I'm going to place the meat into the pot and I filled this pot up about three quarters of the way full and I'm going to put my spring onions, my carrots and my potatoes in and just let that begin to cook down and do its thing. I'm also going to add some thyme. And let that begin to do its thing. Here I've got four green, two, four, five green bananas. Green bananas again is from the planting family. Again, you top and tail it, but this time you don't cut the whole of the head, the top and the tail off, and then you slice it along. Now the skin of green banana is actually quite hard, so we have to put it in hot water so that it actually um, works its way off. You can put the green banana straight, banana straight into the soup if, if, if you like to do that, but I prefer to just top and tail them, slightly slice them, put them in hot water, and then you'll see that the skin comes off really easily. Put that kettle on to boil. I'm going to pour boiling hot water all over the green bananas. Make sure they're immersed. And I'm just going to leave them to just do their thing. Leave them time for the skin to become loose so that they'll come off really easily. They'll turn black because of the hot water. The skin will turn black anyway but you'll see that when I come to put these into the pot of soup. So this pot's now going to be on the fire for about, I would say, at least an hour and a half while the mutton cooks. It's got all the ingredients in it, so I can kind of get on with other things while this is doing its thing. And then later on, I'll make some dumplings and uh, put all the rest of the hard food in and show you how to finish off this fabulous Saturday soup. Hi, it's getting on into the evening now and the soup has been on the fire for about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna go and check it in a moment. But whilst that's, that was kind of doing its thing, um, I've spoken to Daphne and Daphne's had some amazing ideas again which is thrown into the Dutch pot and um, yeah this is all to do with us moving forwards with uh, our new adventures so um, yeah that's good and then I've been uploading um, some songs not songs the little clips and things that I'm doing now to YouTube so that you can all see what's going on I will be uploading songs as well so I'm gonna go into the kitchen now and we're gonna have a look and see what's going on in the soup pot So let's see how this soup is getting on. The soup is bubbling nicely, bubbling in the pot. I think I need to give it a little taste and see if this meat is cooked. Now I just need to taste this mutton and see if it's cooked. Just trying to find a piece in the pot that I can taste. Okay, here we go. Now the difference between English culture and Jamaica culture is that we never eat taste from the pot and put the spoon back in the pot. We, we never do that as Jamaicans, so these are the cultural differences, but it's all about these differences that make the world go round. Mmm. 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 I'm not hungry. Could do with a little bit longer, I think. So I'm going to add some more water to the pot 
fill it up a bit more and uh, let it cook down just a little bit more. I think we could probably do with another 40 minutes or something to be honest to really get that tender uh, mutton. I really like when I'm eating soup that the meat is just absolutely falling off the bone. So um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put some more water in and um, we'll, I'll go back in and do some more work um, on the computer. mutton out of the pot now just to see if it's nicely cooked. Mmm. Mmm. That's a lot better. Mmm. Lovely and tender. Mmm. Okay. Now I'm going to add some coconut cream. About half a block. I'm going to add this packet of uh, vegetable noodles. You can always blend your own vegetables and add to this soup, but I'm kind of doing it real Jamaican style, the way that my mum taught me how to cook um, soup. So I'm going to let that just sort of boil up for a little bit now and take its time. And then I'm going to show you the green bananas now and how to make some dumplings. The, I spoke about the green bananas was going black so they've been in hot water for some time so you see that the skin is much easier to peel off than if I hadn't soaked it. It doesn't matter if it breaks a little bit. That's okay. The reason why it goes a bit dark is because it actually reacts with the air and that's all the iron in the green banana. It's really, really nutritious food. That's it, just take them off and take off whatever, whatever green bits are left on the banana. That's it. So now that they've peeled, they're going black quite quickly, so I have to get them in some water. They're just reacting with the air. So I'll just place them in the water that I've got the plant in and the potatoes in. 